We are heading into a big holiday week and things are sure going to look festive around here with lots of fresh snow. Yes, yeah, snow a big concern for tomorrow night and for Wednesday. And right now it looks like a very strong probability that that's going to happen. We've been talking about the, the storm system and its track and now it looks like it's uh, taking a, a, an aim straight at us uh, over the course of the next a couple of days. But uh, yesterday was a beautiful day. We had some rain at times, but then by mid afternoon we were out in the full sunshine enjoying a pretty mild Sunday. Certainly by November standards, we reached a high of 39 officially. Uh, it felt warmer than that. That sunshine it felt fantastic yesterday, but now looking uh, at uh, a wintry situation that's facing us tomorrow night into Wednesday. Winter Storm Watch has been posted. It takes effect 6 p.m. Tuesday until noon Wednesday. Six or more inches of snowfall and on Wednesday especially, there is a blowing snow component to that storm system that may make travel uh, travel conditions very difficult for much of the day. Unfortunately, that is one of the biggest travel days of the entire year. Right now, this morning, looking at current radar, very light activity running in, in the area. Some of that around Austin, Albert Lee, Buffalo Center, Mason City. Sprinkles at most out of this running into that dry air out of one storm system centered to our north. Here's the next uh, bigger storm system. This is the one that we're watching for tomorrow night and Wednesday. It's going to take a couple days to get here or at least a day and a half, but then we will have to deal with that uh, storm system and the mess that ensues uh, for the next couple of days. Here's a live look outside, a little sun trying to break through those clouds. We've had a little band of clouds coming in right now. That's our Lewis Donato camera at the CC Heights. 36 right now in Rochester, Preston 37, Decorah 39. Very mild by seasonal standards. Keep in mind the average low at this time of the year is right around 20. An average high would be in the mid 30s. We are already at that level to start the day. And from here with extra sun moving forward, we're going to talk about mid and upper 40s across the map. The warmest day in quite some time. 36 right now. It feels like 28 winds out of the west, 13 miles per hour, getting a little breezier as we move along the day. Uh, tomorrow, not a terribly windy day, but we get that snow tomorrow night and then Wednesday, a very windy situation with heavy snow concerns all the way until maybe midday Wednesday. And then later this week, smaller doses of rain and snow uh, for the end of the of the holiday weekend. It could be all the way from Friday into Sunday as it stands right now. But very light activity in radar uh, at this point uh, running into that dry air. We have one storm system north of us generating uh, some of that southwest now westerly breeze as it moves on through. So sky conditions right now, uh, mostly cloudy in a few spots and so not a whole lot of sun at first, but we're going to break out of that and see more and more of that sun. Sprinkles possible through about 7.30, 8 o'clock this morning, that little batch of activity, otherwise increasing sun. 37 for that morning commute. Iris Futurecast looking at pretty quiet situations. That little batch of rain moves on through. Uh, we'll see increasing sun today. Uh, west wind at times reaching 15, maybe to 25 miles per hour. 45 the expected high today. Sunset of 436. Here's Futurecast looking at uh, some sun and some clouds around the area at times through today. Uh, Bit of a gusty breeze out of the west, highs in the mid 40s. Tonight, staying fairly quiet. The winds drop off, we'll have temperatters dropping into the low 30s. And then tomorrow, uh, gray skies with that chance of a wintry mixture at first around 4 or 5 o'clock. A little rain may mix in with some snow at first, but by around 6, 7, 8 o'clock, it's mainly snow. And then we'll see heavy snow through the overnight hours and stronger winds picking up through tomorrow night. And then through Wednesday, snow all the way until about lunchtime, until about noon or so, with uh, lighter snow at least at that stretch of time, but also some strong winds that reach 40 miles per hour at times and the possibility there of six or more inches of snowfall. Right now it could be six to 10 inches as it stands right now. Mixture at first, we see those uh, chances really ramp up around nine or 10 o'clock tomorrow night until sunrise on Wednesday and still not completely out of the woods until about uh, the early afternoon hours. But totals around the area, six to 10 inches, Rochester up to uh, the Twin Cities, Mason City, and then south and eastward, maybe slightly lighter amounts, but still winter weather advisory criteria most likely at this point for that area uh, around Decorah and La Crosse. Uh, looking at uh, some chilly days ahead, but all seasonable. Very typical for this time of the year. Keep in mind, 36 is a seasonal average. We're going to be within a few degrees of that all week long. After today, 46 in Winona, 45 Rochester, 47 in Charles City, Iowa. Partly sunny, breezy, but still mild for this time of the year. Uh, gusts to 25 miles per hour. Less wind in the area tonight. Just a few clouds, 30 degrees. Seven day forecast, we're looking at uh, snow by evening tomorrow until mid, uh, midday, that is on Wednesday. Uh, maybe a little bit of very light snow Thursday afternoon. Let's look like that mostly becomes rain snow mixture Friday during the day and again on Saturday. Those uh, that stretch of time may be yielding a, a minor coating of snow at times and then a, maybe a little more of that snow Saturday night and Sunday, the backside of that system. Stronger winds there and by the end of the weekend, we're, we're not even going to be as warm as a freezing market. It looks like next week is going to be pretty chilly with teens and 20s. More wintry stuff, winter-like weather temperatures, typical for early December. 
I know Byron is among the many people with uh, travel plans Wednesday eyeing a flight, so we're all keeping yeah. our fingers crossed. Unfortunately, it looks difficult right now. We'll have to be watching that very closely in time.